Okay, so with the move to the new place fast approaching, we've got limited time to get Frankie ready and like drivable to get on the trailer. So obviously we can move it to the new place. We've got this to do, the chassis notch to do, some more body work to do. And we'll see what James is up to on another, another, another episode of Road to Nowhere. Because you fuckers are getting spoiled with this shit. <laughs> So we've got issues, obviously because like Frankie's crazy, crazy low, um, so much so you can rattle the, rattle the little springs about on the coilovers. So the last episode we tubbed all the arches so we had turning circle while we were driving. So the next issue is as you guessed it, we have to chassis notch. Uh, let me get some light. Okay, let's go under, oh, I'll try to get. Try to get under Frankie. Oh God! <laughs> Fuck. Okay, so there. See? See where it's rubbing? So we got to just mark that with a obviously with a sharpie, um, and then I've got some tubing, and basically I'll show you how easy I suppose a chassis notch is to do. Now we're only going to be able to get one, two, three points of weld. For the minute until we take the motor out um, or the drive shaft out when we get up to the new place and then we can get the fourth weld on the inside of the leg but for the minute we're going to clean up and mark it so if you were doubting if Frankie's low let me see if I can hold the camera straight ah oh, fuck it I can't oh, well you know how low she is by now <laughs> so okay oh so we've got a, another other another mission jack her up wheel off oh fun and games oh god okay so bum 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 so so anywhere around there is going to be good and anywhere uh, here is going to be good. Like that. So, oh god! Right now we got to jack her up. Oh, it's fun and games. Focus, fucking camera. Right. So, just to let you know, oh, he's gone. So, like I said, we're getting ready for the move. So, while I'm doing that. The other bumper bracket's coming, so that's all sorted, blah, blah, blah. But while we're working on Frankie, we're cutting and buffing this T5. We're prepping these wheels or paint stripping them because we've got to paint those and we've got fairings to do. Plus organising all this shit. James is in here like a fucking madman. I think we'll probably end up minionising this bit. Minion? Yeah. <laughs> hey, he's... Ah! So he's in here working like a... Having a meltdown. Meltdown? Why are you mad? Why are you having a meltdown? It's just one at HY. Four days. Yeah. 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 Four days. 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 Four in the last 28 days, I've had 59,000 views. 59,000? In the last 28 days. That's only because I'm here. Exactly. We minionise everything. So Martin, he comes out of the home now and then. So he comes down in heights. But yeah, so James is having a fucking crazy meltdown. You all know about the HY build that we've been doing for the past like seven or eight months. Um, he's been on for five days. <laughs> oh, five weeks and he wants to kill himself already. I've had eight months of this shit. But anyway, we've got so much going on at BSC, it's nuts. So we'll do another video on the HY today for, uh, for obviously the other episode of her actually going in Primer and looking to get the fucking thing painted. So right, he's on that. We've got that, that, Martin's here because he's cleaning out and sorting all the T5 and whatnot. I need a jack because I've got a jack Frankie up so we can fucking chassis not you because I've got new gas or more gas for my welder. Oh. Yeah, you do it there. i got to fix that. I've got that to fix some paint. It was there, it was just Well, I've got to fucking thingy and fix that uh, and paint that. I've got to get the wheels painted. No, it's been clear coat over, I can scuff it, it's fine. The HY's got to be painted. And like all these are going to be road worthy, including Frankie. Oh, the joys of having a lower car. Oh, so. 
that didn't work. Well, it did, but we had to take the head off the jacket. So, we've got an axle stand underneath as well. On the arch to the sub frame. and clear. Drive shaft is dropped. There's our two marks. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean up and we're going to notch, not very high, but half a circle around here. Put it in there. So and then obviously drive shaft ain't going to do that anymore. So fun and games. Oh right okay. Oh god, I feel so full. James is uh, doing lunch, like cooking lunch at home and bringing it in for me every day. So I eat healthy for once and I'm full as fuck. And it was only chicken and sweet potato. Right, chassis notch. Okay, so we've got our tube in. Okay, so we know we need to kind of go there to the plant. What we've got to do is we've got to um, clean everything up now. So, and then make be very very fucking sort of precise with this where it's gonna be because I think it's got to go in at a slight angle like that be very precise where it's gonna be and then cut trim and then weld this piece in you see you see nice and easy see how that fits over the thingy plenty of room so we'll weld that up flat and then no more rubbing but this is basically how you chassis notch Right, I'll speak up because he's got the boots on. And like I said, we're getting that HY in primer today. So, lovely. Keep that one. Right, so just want to clean it all up. Okay. So, we're going to remove that much. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Let me uh, okay. get the light in there. So you can see we're going to cut away this much because if you look underneath, see all the evidence of it, of it catching here? So you can see we are right in between it. That's bang in the middle. So that's where we need to go. Oh, okay, so we made our rough cut there, triangle obviously. And then we took our tube in and went underneath so we could get our straight line. Now we're gonna cut that out. Best we can. Uh, <clears throat> right, just drop the gutter. Needs to hit the big screen and shoot a little. Okay, so, bum 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 bum, there you can see, we've got a rough hole and whatnot. now we're going to clean all this out, oh god this is exhausting, <laughs> right, Whoa. I'm trying to keep the boring film into a minimum, like the grinder and shit, right, so as you can see, you know we've got to do a little bit here, right, when you've marked it, cut between all your lines, all right? You want to be the one just gently trimming and gently trimming so that when it goes up, you've got a super, super tight fit, all right? So 
So our thing will go in, kind of like that. Well, let's straighten it out a little bit, like that. Okay? So now what we're going to do, while it's in that position there, I'll mark the end bit, and it's a paddle wheel on a grinder, and all we are doing, all right, is just checking for that perfect fit. Like I said, do a little bit, go back. Do a little bit, go back. All right, can't fuck this up. So, yeah, we've got to do a little bit more trimming. More for me, I think, down this bottom bit. I'm going to get all this trimmed up anyway. We go. <coughs> right. So, we've gone in and cleaned all up and what have you. We're going to have this sitting kind of flush on the inside. Um, so, we can trim up and then we'll have all the excess on this side here. So we can get the world done and we can grind it all down. So have it all nice and level. That is gonna be a beautiful fucking little knot. Pretty little lady with the pretty pink tongue, every sugar daddy hitting on her all night long. Doesn't care about the money, she could be with anybody, anybody and the honey wanted you all alone. go one chassis notch done oh I'm gonna put a bit of weld in here to clean this up and then we just gotta go bzz, bzz, and then that's it done and dusted so happy fucking days I think to be honest so now it can drive without any issues so obviously right I'm running out of friggin paddle wheels so, um, it's been a bit of a pain to try and get this nice and smooth, so I can just do what i got to do and that is it. And then when the new paddle wheels turn up, oh fucking this is not a good look. Uh, yeah, when the paddle wheels turn up, we'll clean it all up and do what we've got to do. Should be able to put Frankie back together, and obviously that bad boy will sit up in there. So there you go, Frankie chassis notch. Done. Okay, well, thought I might as well show you it. Oop, boom. Okay. So fucking oh, look at her fucking her leg, dirty bitch. Right. So can you see the notch? Well, let me just see where. Probably go from here. Right, okay. So there's the notch. Bonk. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see fuck all. I just remembered that. Uh, right, let me go underneath. See? There we go. It's a little bit better, isn't it? No more fucking rubbing. <laughs> Jobs are fucking good. Uh, I'm happy with that. Yeah. So, oh god. Okay. So now, got to wait for paddle wheels to turn up. Then I'll clean all the welds up. The motor's coming out when we go to the new place. So I can then smack that weld the other side, clean all that up, make it one. Jobs are good. So now we can turn our attention to. 
the rear arches. Oh. <laughs> okay, now that's all done. We're going to the back. Oh yes. Let's see where she's catching. Oh, so much shit. Oh, we don't need that frame anymore. That can be fucking thrown out. that side. Oh ho. Can you see what I see? See that's the other good thing about having actually, the dust in there is we can see where she's catching and it's there. Sweet. So we just got to get in there now make the adjustments there like we've got the other side the other side is cut slightly like cleaner like that so we'll bring this one down and then we've got no more fucking rubbing on this and look at that we can come down some more whoop, whoop. Right, right oh now. good morning good morning why do you want me to sell it yeah. okay we're, we're doing two videos today because it's a milestone one's called uh matty does dallas you know it <laughs> <laughs> two fucking milestones today at Backstreet. One, the HY. After eight fucking months on this HY, she's going in primer today. That's a big milestone. <clears throat> Second milestone, thanks to Dan at Devon Dub Shack, he dropped the bumper off for Frankie. So now I can actually finish the rear fucking bumper on Frankie. So we're going to do a Road to Nowhere episode. <clears throat> we're going to do a skate shop van build episode. And we're starting with the HY. So fucking violent. So look at, look, he's on, he's a, look at him. He, I, I'm, I like weed a little then. So... Okay, where are we at with the HY? Well, we ran into a few issues with it, but everything is sorted. It's almost like this thing doesn't want to get fucking painted. But, see, we welded up this piece here as well so we can skim all that. And everything's all looking hunky-dory. A few bits of sand in. Oh, I've got shit in my eye. And we're good to go. Now... We slick sanded it once, it did its job. We are not slick sanding it again. We are going straight into high build. So, like I said, you know, this thing's been here for fucking God knows how long. It was an absolute nightmare of a job to do. From start to finish, it was a ball ache. I've had every man and his dog work on it, and it's just that's, that's come and bit me in the ass. So, now. And then he completely fucks shit up. <laughs> so that's the plan. I've uh, sort of said to James, right, get on with it. And that's what he's done. So there you go. That's the rundown on the van. It's all looking good, all pretty much ready to fucking prime. A few little last minute bits to do. And then it's time to mask up the old girl and get her fucking primed. Okay, so this is like kind of our last week at this place. Thursday is going to be the last day. Hang on, I was going to film it. So this is the old logo, the old premises, the old everything. Well, that escalated quickly. The old logo. Done and dusted. Fresh start, new times, factory. Oh, are you lucky people getting proper treated today? 
but saying that, this is a Road to Nowhere episode should be. Instead of just concentrating on body work all the time. So we've done the welding, dropped the arch more, so now the car is, is fine, no issues. And the reason I haven't been able to finish the um, back bumper is because of one thing. And it's this bracket on here. And that's it. So we're going to drill the little plastic spots out and whatnot. We don't even need all this bracket. So, and it's just held on by some little clips that are here. Top, top lip. That is it. That is all I have been waiting on. That one fucking piece. So now we can go ahead, start trimming and doing everything we need to do to get this bumper to fit. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do. Trim up the bracket. Uh, now I know we need to go about here because it gets to that point and then it <coughs> comes out. So, and obviously we're not using this from what I remember. So I'll get the basis off, but really we need to um, just take the bumper off so we can just check everything. Both sides. Okay, so, <coughs> keep the bumpers off. Um, and you can see that basically it was all plastic welded in place. So now we've got to go ahead and start sanding everything and shaping everything a little bit better. And what we can do, or what we will do, should I say, is I'll clean all this up for the brackets and we're going to bond the brackets on with the Evercoat Multifix. Um, any of the joints, like here and stuff, I think we'll do and then we'll give them a skim of fiber tech just to make this bumper nice and fucking rigid. Um, but still, you know giving it a bit of flex so that's the plan for that side and obviously this side we've got to, we've got to make now but first thing is clean everything up and get the fucking uh, get the uh, welding finished the supports on the bumper brackets on right this is the plan then so obviously we've got standard mark 3 bumper brackets the sides that's for the other side so that's been cut already as does that that we're going to scuff up and we're going to actually bond onto the new bumper that obviously just gets screwed into place as it would do normally uh, this one will be cut down again like that all right but we're going to retain these okay we're going to cut this out flat and then this little piece is going to bond onto the new piece of the rear of the Mark 6 bumper so then we can just make a slight hole here and it'll push straight in so that'll make a nice change but this side I completely forgot I didn't finish it on nothing so we've got to get all this cleaned up in here we actually got to put a triangle piece in as well um, and clean everything up and check that this side's the same as that side so it's nice and fucking rigid because it's okay but it's like look and it's got to be nice and uh, solid, obviously. will get cut out and trimmed out and it can probably go into that hole there but I'll probably put it maybe I don't know we'll see probably go in that one 
like that. And then the bits to extend the bumper with are this piece and that piece. So the challenge is just getting both sides to be the same. So, hey, at least it's coming together. So I've got to trim the shit out of it. Which will then cut out. And that'll give us a rough. I'm going to be fucking limited because I don't have any paddle wheels, so... put some shape into that really and get it looking the same and clean it all up but we're gonna struggle to run a fucking paddle wheels yay oh so noisy so 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 right get you balanced nothing exciting no we just gotta uh, sand down Sorry, we're feeling, let's, <laughs> they will tell our YouTubers that we're feeling tender, tender because there's a, a thing on Facebook, there's a thing on Facebook and it's about, was it cartoons of the past or something and they had stuff like uh, Jason and the Aqua, uh, Jason and the Wheeled Warriors, Banana Man, uh, Planet Earth, what was the other one? Gummy pears. Dungeons and Dragons. So now we're feeling fucking old. Like, really fucking old. Because you've got kids coming and going, well, what's this all about? Because you all watch Teletubbies in, night, in the night garden. Stinky winky, dipshit, Lou Roll and Poo. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's why we're feeling old. <coughs> but at least the, uh, the HY is all in primer now anyway. So, back to Road to Nowhere. Okay. I gotta balance you, fuck. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Let's but let's try and get you like balanced some way, fucking decent. Which, because we all know y'all want to see the action. There. So obviously the uh, molten fits perfect, looks perfect, nice and smooth, so on and so forth. So it is a sound of all adhesive. It's exactly what we're gonna do now. You're ripping up the dance floor, honey yeah. I'm in the You shake your ass around for everyone I'm such a fooler I love the way you dance with everybody The way you sway And tease them all by sucking on your thumb You're so much cooler when you never pull it out Cause you look so much cuter With something in your mouth She loves the night scene 
Okay, real quick. So that's the bracket cut down, shaved up. Let me drill those uh, a few more holes in it, and that is literally because when we put it on here, we'll screw it down, and then the multi fix will obviously come through, and it will sandwich that bracket in place. And we're going to mix up enough to obviously just smooth this out, this out, uh, and probably down here as well. Because I've got a little bit I just got to take out here. Or where am I there? Plastic rod that together. Right, fun. bonded that on like a seal. Uh, now that's gone off. So we can take the retaining screws out. Excuse me. So that is in place, but I am gonna. Oh, fucking hell. Oh shit. Okay, we might be alright. <laughs> oh fuck me, I didn't think it was that strong. Oh fucking hell. Okay. Right, so we're gonna sand it. Sand it down. Not so much here, uh, but on this top lip here. Sand it down. Um, I'd probably like to sand this thing down here because when I get some more nozzles you see I can square it up in here but I haven't got any of the mixing nozzles so I can't get it up in there for a minute but that's pretty much that's fucking on there on there right so we'll mix up some more now and then we'll start going in all these bits here hey, the fun never ceases to amaze me <laughs> okay so that's all bonded on and that sits fucking lovely. I mean, we've got to do this. Remember this end bracket that we're going to just pop in? So that's going to just work fucking beautifully. Um, so I've got to work on this side. Now, I can't just bond it together uh, because basically there's nothing to kind of bond to. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to plastic weld this piece. I say fucking plastic weld it, I gotta let my fucking solder and iron heat up. Um, and we're literally I'm gonna try and flatten it about. Um, I've looked from a distance and this curve, I think we, what we're gonna do is get the heat gun like we did the other side and just just slightly, you know, whoosh, like that in there. So both curves match. So I've got the fucking boring, boring task now of literally Yeah, that is fucking it. I've got to do a V, get my V all the way across here, and then put my filler rod in. So then that'll keep it in position while I work on the bracket and everything. Remember, I put the two screws there to retain it. So this will get plastic welded. And then when I move that into place there, like so, I've got to trim all this, put my end section where I want it, and then put my middle section in like I did the other side. So, oh, long ass night. All right, oh, yeah, this is it. This is the excitement right here. So, we'll start filling, I suppose. same distance all the way down all the way down um, and then I'm going to smooth it in if that makes sense so a little bit of a pain but it'll be worth it because there's another little hidden feature so for the minute I mean yeah we need to sort of come off that line there so we'll measure down and then trim that and then plastic weld it to that same that side um, and then we can make up our missing pieces that side 
really dark. Perfect weather for a nice drive home. Only Joe!